Hey everyone, it's Brian for GumballTech.com, and today I'll be showing you an app called IDOS. It came out today, and it's available in the iTunes App Store for a dollar. And basically, this lets you run DOS on your iPhone or iPad. It's based off of DOSBox, so you should be able to run pretty much anything you'd like. Um, it comes with a couple of games. It comes with Miss Pac-Man and Dig Dug. I also have a game on my computer called Carmageddon. Maybe you guys have heard of it. It's a really old DOS game, but it's really, really fun. And I usually play it quite a bit in DOSBox. So since this is based off of DOS, DOSBox, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get it running in iDOS. And basically what I, do, what I did to sort of prepare for this is I took the original disk, and I took all of the files off of that, and I put it into, into a folder so that iDOS can see it. And then I'm going to have to mount that folder as a virtual drive in iDOS. And then I'll run the installer and see how everything goes from there. But first, I'm going to show you the app itself. You can just see the little DOSBox splash screen. So right now, we are in C. Um, along the bottom of your page, you have left and right click buttons for the mouse. I don't know what the 3000 is. I, I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, we have a keypad. You can customize the different keys. We have a big keyboard. It's sort of cluttered, but you know this will this will be much better on the iPad. And then we have we have some options. You can customize the keypad. You could change the transparency levels, make the keypad full screen if you're on an iPad, uh, force a 4x3 aspect ratio, disable the key sounds, because they do get sort of annoying when you're tapping a lot on the keyboard. You could change your mouse key, and you could check out the credits. So to run some of the sample games, you have to change you have to change the directory, and to list the files and folders in your current directory, just list uh, or just use dir. And you can see here that we have a games folder, a shizzle folder that I made, a interplay folder. Um, I need to get rid of that one actually. And we have a karma folder, which is pretty much the entire Carmageddon CD. Then it lists some other files. So to change the directories, we have to do CD games. And you can see right now we are in the games folder. So we could go ahead and list the files in that folder by doing that, if I could spell it properly. This keyboard is pretty cramped and it's really annoying to use. And we have two files, digdug.com and mispacman.com. They they aren't websites, those are the extensions of the files. And I'm gonna go ahead and run Miss Pac-Man. And there we go. And it says that to start the game we have to use F1, so pushing the function key and F1. So it's so it's pretty much something like that. Um, I haven't figured out how to properly exit the game and go back to the command prompt. So what I usually do is exit out of the app and then kill it from the multitasking dock. So that was pretty much a quick demo of Ms. Pac-Man. Um, this will be much more convenient if you're on an iPad because it shows the screen on one half of the screen and then it shows your keyboard on the bottom half. So it's much more practical. But what I'm going to try and do right now is mount the virtual drive for Carmageddon, run the installer, see if I can install it, and then I'm going to see if I could run the game. Uh, if it works, I think that'll be really amazing. So let's go ahead and try it. So to do this, we have to um, list the directory. We have to mount the drive. So mount D. Okay, so I finally got it. Uh, I just mounted the Karma folder as the D drive. So to switch over to that drive, we have to use D and then that. So we're finally into the D drive, so I'm going to run install. Well, first I'm going to do a directory listing so you can see all the files that are included. It's a bunch of files. I don't know if you can scroll up and down. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can. But anyway, um, I'm going to run install. And we are at the installer, and the little animation was perfect, just like it is on the computer. You can see that we have the date and the time in the upper corner. 
I actually tried doing this video about 10 minutes ago. It said 1337, so that was sort of interesting, but uh, I screwed up halfway through. Um, I got a call, and the app killed itself, so basically I'm going to try again. Uh, so I'm going to bring up the keypad this time, and we're just going to go through the different prompts. And we're going to go to the minimum install. I did try it before, and it seemed to take a lot, uh, quite a bit of time using the full install, so I'm going to see how far we can get using the smallest install. Now it is copying 16 megabytes worth of files over, and still took quite a bit of time to do. So that small install finished, and now we're going to the sound setup utility, which is normal. Uh, we have to go in here to choose our sound device. Uh, so usually on the computer, um, I think the Sound Blaster 16 is the one that worked. Nope, that didn't work. Or it might have been the ESS audio drive. Well, <laughs> it sort of worked. It didn't sound proper at all, but... Oh, there we go. That was perfect. So we're going to go to OK and then go to OK here and it should save the config. Now it says that we have to type Karma to start playing. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this will work. That'll be really cool if it does. See how far we can get. Wow, okay, so we are at the interplay screen. Uh, it seems like it's working. Um, it seems a little bit slow. It seems to take a while to actually bring up the screens and stuff. Um, after those two images, it should show a little introduction video. I don't know how well that's going to work. Oh, yeah, we can see part of it down there in the corner start to show up a little bit down there. I'm going to see if I could skip this by pushing the left mouse button. Um, it's a cool, level, a cool little novelty to have around. You could experiment with other games and applications and things like that. And for the most part, it's pretty interesting. So it seems like Carmageddon is one of the things that do not work. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all signs of Carmageddon from IDOS. So that's about it with the video. Um, once again, it's a pretty cool app. Um, so it's only a dollar in the iTunes App Store, so you're not really losing anything. And you know, if 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 you're into DOS, if you're into all of your old sort of computer stuff, then you know it's it's pretty interesting to play around with, and you could try to see which applications that you could get running properly. So it's a cool little app to have. So that's about it with this video. Leave any comments or questions down below. If you'd like, you could subscribe to my channel. And that's about it. So thank you guys a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys later.